Richard, firstly, welcome to Swindentown Football Club. Yeah, thank uh, you. Finally got the deal over the line. So yeah. give us your initial thoughts of, of how it feels to, to now be a Swindentown player. No, nah, man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for the challenge ahead, especially how I did in last season, just falling short of the hurdle. Obviously, the fans probably be expecting us to be up there again and hopefully get it done this season. So I'm glad to be a part of that. And, and why Swin in town? What was the what was the sort of reasons behind you coming here? Again, like I said, just how hard it did last year. Um, I watched a few of their games last year. They had a lot of games on TV, and um, like the way they played football, and I just thought it would completely suit my style of play. So I just thought I'd fit right in. And those big football fans who would have seen you as a 16-year-old play for, for Aston Villa yeah. might remember the name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> A few years have passed since then. Yeah. Um, what sort of experiences do you take from, from being such a young player, playing at such a high level mm -hmm. and now bringing that into League Two? Um, just having to step up to the test. Um, nobody's going to be looking at you and thinking you're a young player. They're going to be thinking you're ready to play first team football. So it's quite brutal, it's quite hard, but you just got to get on with it and rise to the occasion. And give us a flavour of, of what sort of player you are. Um, player like to score goals. Quite quick, quite pacey, and just like to entertain. And Swindon obviously got a huge fan base, very mm -hmm. passionate fans as well, as you yep. probably know. Yep. How excited are you to be putting on that shirt and, and getting out in the county ground? No, nah, man, I'm excited, man. I watched the first game, and um, there was like 10, over 10,000 people there. It was just ridiculous. So, obviously, he don't like to play in front of a big fan, fan base, so I just can't wait to get going. And quite a few new faces have come in. You've yeah. been obviously one of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a new project, it feels, here at Swindon as well. How excited are you to, to be part of a team that's growing every week and, and improving as well? I oh, mean, that's what you want. That's what you want in a team. You want um, more players coming in, more people fighting for their position, more people fighting for spots. It creates challenges and it only brings the best out of every single player in the change room. So it's a, it's a, great, it's a great project to be involved in. And just finally, uh, season's well underway now, it's in full flow. How yeah. far do you think this team can go and, and how far do you think you can go here as well? Just like last year, man, I think this team can completely repeat what they did last year and go even further. So hopefully we gel as a team together and we get to know each other very quickly and start putting in the performances and getting the wins. And do you set a goal target for yourself? Uh, <laughs> that's a question. <laughs> we just go with, the, we go with the flow, man, we go with the flow. But hopefully I can... Well, um, and got McCurdy to, to, to live up to in it, but um, no man, I hope, hope to get quite a few goals this season. 